after yesterday's encounter at sunjwa the police teams of district jammu headed by ssp jammu and ably assisted by sp south sdpo south and sp operations they worked tirelessly day and night to establish the conspirators the identity of the conspirators who were behind this plan to carry out a suicide attack at jammu on the basis of technical analysis and evidence we were able to zero in on a person called shafi kemal sheikh shafi kemal sheikh is from tral and he works at a walnut factory at narwal which is not very far away from sunjwa where this encounter took place he stays at the house of ikbal who is from damal hanjipura koidam and who has a house in jalalabad area of sunjwa where this encounter took place along with him his brother asif also works and both these brothers asif and shafi kemal sheikh are deeply involved with terrorists of jaish e mohammed asif here at jammu creates a telegram id called pagal jamaat for shafi kemal sheikh his own brother he also provides another mobile with a sim card to his brother and his brother then contacts a jaish commander in pakistan by the name veer his telegram identity identity is veer the person at pakistan the commander of jaish at pakistan instructs him to go to jammu where he says he will receive a group of suicide attackers who will be brought to jammu at his place of residence by someone he did not disclose his name but we have identified that person by the name of bilal ahmed wage bilal ahmed wage is from kokarna and he sets out on the instructions of jaish e mohammed from kashmir and from pulwama in kashmir at 10 am on the 20th of april he reaches jammu around evening time and stays at transport nagar at night at 12 pm 12 am he sets out for sukwal in samba area and from there he picks up two terrorists of jaish e mohammed who were carrying a huge quantity of arms and ammunition in a rucksack they board the truck it's a medium size truck and there are vegetable crates empty vegetable crates behind the truck there is also a cavity created very neatly inside the truck among the vegetable crates where these people these two terrorists hide and then the truck moves towards jalalabad in sunjwa the truck has four people the driver bilal ahmed bagi a co driver and these two terrorists they reach jalalabad at around 2:30 am on the 21st and from there shafi kemal sheikh picks up the two terrorists takes him to his house keeps them there for the entire day during the day he says that these two terrorists used his mobile and telegram id to contact the jaish commander elias veer 
and then they discussed their plans and the directions were given by Veer to Shafiq to take them to the nearest security force location and cause maximum damage. They were instructed to go out the same night and cause that level of damage which is good enough to deter and to discourage the VVIP visit. Before these people could set out on their mission, we receive inputs from intelligence that there are two terrorists in this area. We got on of that area with the help of CRPF and other forces. And we managed to keep them holed up inside the cordon throughout the night. This was a crucial effort because had they been able to move out with the kind of suicide vest and the kind of arms ammunition they were carrying, they could have caused huge damage. And we could manage to keep them hold inside and the, in, the, in the operation which followed in the morning, you all know that the two terrorists were eliminated. The fact that these two terrorists were picked up from Samba and moved towards Jalalabad is also corroborated by crucial CCTV evidence along the way. There are two CCTV evidence which point out towards the movement and towards the timing of the movement. It is also known that these two terrorists did not speak Kashmiri language and also did not speak Dogri or Hindi, which Shafiq knows. Shafiq understands Hindi, Kashmiri and Dogri. He says that they were speaking in a language he could not understand. When he was made to listen to a Pashto language, he said, yes, this was the language which they were speaking. This indicates that the two Pidain attackers were from either Pakistan in the territories contiguous to Afghanistan where this language is spoken or were Afghanis. This is the information which we have at present. We are working on the leads. We are hopeful that the two absconding accused are arrested soon. Thank you. Which led them to get trapped finally? One, the effort of the police to encircle them and cordon them separated them from their guide. Shafiq was supposed to be their guide. So this prevented them from moving where they wanted to move. This is the first part. Second is that possibly they tried to move out of the cordon and the outer cordon which had JKP and CISF. They tried to prevent them and they opened fire. And in the retaliation, maybe one of them got injured. We are not sure whether they got injured that time or later. But yes, they were able to push them back inside the cotton. Now, Narji thinks they purchased from here or they got it from Pakistan? We are looking, we are investigating into everything. One thing is sure that they had paracetamol tablets which had Pakistani markings, which also corroborate that this might be an infiltrating group. Sir, so, you said that uh, these uh, guys who were uh, killed, they seem to be Afghani. Do you think that uh, it is going to be a more challenging in the coming days for uh, forces here? We view all the terrorists as the same entity and everyone is dead with the same district. Nobody is a bigger challenge or a lesser challenge. 